Hello everyone, my name is Ronak and you're watching VectorWart. In today's video, we will talk about the navigation view control under the navigation sections in WinUI 3 controls. In the previous videos, we took a look at all the basic controls that uh, WinUI 3 provides, for example, buttons, drop downs, repeat buttons, split buttons, and so on. So in today's video, we will focus on the navigation section where we have several controls. And today, uh, the control that we are going to look at is the navigation view. The navigation view provides a common vertical layout for top level areas of our application via a collapsible navigation uh, menu. It adapts to a variety of screen sizes and supports both top and left navigation styles. So here you can see uh, we this is an example of a navigation view in uh, WinUI 3. Uh, this is the WinUI 3 gallery. If you are uh, new to my videos, you can check out my previous video where I have explained how to use this WinUI 3 gallery app and make use of all the code and uh, UI uh, tutorials in this uh, video. Uh, so. Um, the, here on the navigation view, you can see the navigation on click of this hamburger menu, uh, the navigation expands and contracts, and uh, you can see the navigation items. And um, it also provides you with all the icons, the back button, and the uh, frame where your actual content will be uh, populated. Uh, so next, uh, let's uh, see uh, what this navigation provides. So the pro it provides you with a consistent navigational experience uh, throughout your application. Uh, it preserves real uh, screen real estate on a smaller window, uh, organizes access to many navigation categories. So let's start by uh, going to Visual Studio and creating this navigation view in our WinUI 3 app. For that, you'll have to create a new project on Visual Studio 2022 or higher and uh, look for WinUI 3. I have here it uh, on my window, but if you do not have it, please check out my previous video where I've explained how to um, install WinUI 3. I'll leave a link in the description. For now, I will select blank app uh, package WinUI 3 desktop application and click next. Uh, let me give this uh, project a name, navigation tutorial, and let me click on create. The WinUI 3 Gallery app uh, includes interactive examples of most WinUI 3 uh, controls, features, and functionality. So you can get that app from the Microsoft Store or get it from the source code on GitHub. So uh, next, uh, we will create a small navigation uh, view example in XAML. Uh, let's wait for the project to load. OK. OK, now that the application is ready and loaded, let's go to the Solution Explorer and open our main window. And here we have some boilerplate code that uh, displays a button within a stack panel. So I will go ahead and remove this. And also in the code behind, there is a button click event. Let me go ahead and remove that as well. And now let's start uh, designing our navigation view. So within our window element, uh, let's say a navigation view element. And within our navigation view, now we need to add a navigation view menu items dot menu items. And within our menu items, we need to uh, define a few items that will be um, on the navigation, so on the pane. So let's start by adding a few items. So navigation view item and the content is equal to say, let's say nav item A. And let me close this uh, by and let's repeat this uh, a few times. So copy and paste it a few times. And D. So that's it. And then uh, we need to add a frame element that will um, contain the navigation. And let's name it as content frame. And let's close this. So that's simple. Uh, so let me run this application. And let's see it in action. So there you go. We have a simple looking uh, navigation view with the hamburger menu and the navigation items that we have added and the default settings. So this is by default true. And we will talk about all of these uh, default elements soon and how to disable and enable them. So on click of this hamburger menu item, the uh, pane will collapse or um, 
expand based on the clicks. Uh, this is the default behavior. And also when you resize this window, the pay window pane will collapse and uh, change its position. So we'll talk about it soon. So let me stop this application. And next we will talk about the display modes. So uh, we can use the pane display mode property to configure different navigation styles or display modes for the navigation view. So let's start by setting the pane display mode property. Let's say pane display mode and there is auto by default uh, it is auto so let's start with top and uh, let's save this application so when you when i run this application you will see that the pane will be positioned uh, above uh, the content And here you can see uh, the navigation pane is here on the top. And um, to explain uh, the autonomy or the layout of this pane, so or the navigation view, we have the navigation pane here in this layout. Uh, right now, when I set the pane display mode to top, we have the pane over here. And then if we set a header, the header will be populated over here. And then we have the content, which will be below uh, the um, header so uh, let's uh, look at it by adding some values so for example let me say a header of a dashboard maybe and then um, if you see now here on the xml previewer uh, you can see we have a header added and if i go back to my window so right now we have the navigation pane then we have the header and then finally the content so next uh, let's change the pane display uh, type to uh, left but before uh, we uh, go to uh, the left we'll uh, we'll talk about some of the uh, properties uh, or the recommendations for top navigation to use so where we can use the top navigation when you have five or few top level navigation categories that are equally important for example if you, for example if you see at this window you cannot add more elements because then it will be all cluttered and not uh, uh, visually pleasing so that is when you uh, if you have less than five or fewer uh, top elements then you can use the top page display uh, and additionally top level navigation categories that end up in a drop down or a overflow menu uh, are considered less important you need to show all navigation options on the screen and uh, you want more space for your app content in that area in that scenario you can use the uh, top uh, navigation pane so that you can have more real estate uh, in the content section next uh, let's uh, talk about the uh, next mode of display that is the left which is the default and now if you see the window you have the left navigation which we uh, talked about and um, this is recommended when you have uh, five to ten equally important uh, top level navigation categories or if you want to your navigation categories to be very prominent with less space for other app content so in this case you see this this pane is very prominent and you have less content or less re uh, real estate for the content that you want on your uh, frames so uh, next uh, is the left compact that we will take a look at so here on the pane is more let me change it to left compact and when i do that the pane shows only icons uh, until opened and is positioned to the left of the content when open the pane overlays on the content so when i click on this it overlays on the content and the items are visible so by default it is collapsed or uh, in a compact state uh, next uh, is the left minimal so the left minimal is uh, the uh, the navigation view is only the menu button that is shown until the pane is open so when i click on this the pane will open otherwise the pane will be hidden and uh, the finally um, the auto uh, so, so if i don't set anything or if i set it to auto here uh, by default the pane mode is uh, uh, set to auto and in auto mode the navigation view adapts between left minimal uh, when the window is narrow to left compact and then left as the window gets wider so now uh, that i've made the changes to auto you will see so that uh, by default it is you have the pane visible and as soon as i increase or decrease the size of the window the um, pane uh, mode display mode changes from uh, left minimal 
to left compact and from left compact to minimal so that is how uh, the auto functionality uh, or the auto property of the left uh, paint display mode works uh, next uh, we will talk about some of the uh, properties that we can use in the pane. Uh, so so uh, let's talk about some of the uh, properties of uh, the pane. So here on the screen, I have uh, added a code uh, that creates this nice looking um, navigation view with all the different uh, pane items and the menus and hyperlinks and so on. So let's talk, uh, let's go walk through them one by one. So first up is the ease setting visible to true. So based on this, the settings uh, button here on the navigation pane will be visible or uh, hidden. Next is the ease back button visible uh, and the ease back button enabled uh, to true uh, a property which will enable or disable this back button or make it visible or collapsed. Next is the header that we talked about which will show a header about the content and uh, then we have the always show header to true. Then we can also set a pane uh, title which will be next to the hamburger menu here and uh, the pane display modes that we talked about the left top left compact and left minimal next uh, we uh, let's talk about the navigation view uh, menu items so we set the menu items uh, before but this is a little complex one where we have menu items uh, over here our first menu item and this menu item is not a regular menu item but it is a hierarchical menu item so in case you need uh, a hierarchy within the menu items where you have sub items that uh, uh, perform different uh, actions uh, within a menu item then in that case you can go for a hierarchical menu item so here in this uh, menu item that we have we have to set this icon and the tag and the name and within this menu item we have one more menu item and uh, that menu item will show the navigation view items called notes and uh, mail so here uh, when i click on this uh, for example uh, here on this within the menu item one we have two more menu items which will display these items notes and email and uh, next we have the navigation view item header so we have the uh, we talked about a header for our uh, about our content or the main navigation view uh, then we talked about uh, a header for our um, pane so we can set a pane title and now we are talking about uh, the header for our navigation view item so we have each items and within our items we can set header so here here you can see we have set a similar um, header called actions and within the actions we can section uh, our items or differentiate our items based on that so um, here you can see that and it is not it, it is not like you can select them it is just a header then we have um, some more and menu items and if you go to the bottom over here you will see i have set a custom content uh, pane content so usually you set a menu item uh, by using by uh, making use of the menu items uh, element but now i have made use of the pane custom content within this custom content you can set any control that you want within this and here in this uh, scenario i have made use of the hyperlink button and this hyperlink button uh, is displayed here on the screen if you see here on the ui and you can uh, tag it or bind it to the code behind or um, a custom code that will perform the action likewise you can also set an auto suggest box and within the auto suggest box you can create an auto suggest box control and that control will display the search box on the uh, navigation pane next up we have the pane footer so the footer element uh, it provides a footer element uh, to the navigation view and it is always at the bottom and uh, it is a nice way to structure elements within your uh, navigation pane and within that uh, pane footer you can create a grid a stack panel or any layout uh, panel and within that you can place your uh, navigation items and uh, here i have done the same by adding two navigation items few items called download and um, a favorite and uh, that is all for the pain properties and um, um, items so, so uh, that is all I have uh, for uh, the navigation view you can also go through the code and understand it all in detail and how to implement uh, the code behind and how to implement all these button functionalities by going to the WinUI 3 gallery and here on the top of the navigation view control you have the documentation as well as the um, source control uh, which you can take a look at and understand how you can use the navigation view
uh, in depth. So hope you all like watching this video. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up, like, share, and do subscribe to my channel. Till then, 